This is the Seltun geothermal area in southwest Iceland. Similar to some of the geothermal features you might have seen in Yellowstone National Park if you've been there. Um, we'll walk down the boardwalk here. We can see some of the, the beautiful array of colors in this region. And also the lack of vegetation. This is an area where we have hot uh, geothermal water working its way to the surface. Um, it's very much acidic. There's a lot of sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide and also carbon dioxide. And so that tends to kill off a lot of the plants uh, that grow nearby in addition to just the heat itself. And we see there's mud pots here, hot springs, geysers, that sort of thing. We'll start walking down the boardwalk here. Um, and it's interesting because you know, we have these young volcanic rocks, but here where we get this this water that's percolating down from the surface uh, being heated up by hot rocks, potentially a magma system at times, that water uh, gets hot and so it rises to the surface. And if it's carrying some of the dissolved gases in that magma with it, that's where we can get these very um, concentrated acids that come up with the groundwater. And then that can actually leach out the rocks as well and cause the rocks to be partially dissolved and precipitate uh, a variety of minerals. Uh, including sulfur. So we can see some of the yellowish deposits here from the groundwater. We can go ahead and see, we can't get down there, but we can see on the readout here how hot that water is. Um, it's about 120 or so, 130 was the highest number I got uh, in that area, but it's probably a little bit hotter where it's coming out as well. We can see that it's, it's boiling in places. With these thick coatings of sulfur, in some places it's more of a reddish hue, which might be hematite. Uh, there's other clay minerals being deposited as well. And you can see how it's just, you know, leaching out of uh, the ground and then precipitating on the rocks themselves. So this one's a bit of a hot spring and a little bit of a geyser. Kind of noisy. Let's see what's over here. This is a nice little humor roll right here. Let's see if we can get a good temperature on this. So yeah, the hot air coming out of this. I think I got one reading of like 160 at some point. Yeah, right in here. You can see that at one point it was up to, yeah, 160, 170. Something like that. Here's some little mud pots. So the difference between the hot springs and the mud pots tends to be uh, the viscosity of the material. If you have just mainly water that's being heated and rising to the surface, you're going to get a hot spring. If it's if the sulfuric gases are dissolving out some of the rocks and creating mud, and it's more viscous, uh, then you'll get something that looks more like uh, mud pots. These are still just kind of muddy water to me, but um, not really a true mud pot. Let's see how hot these are. These are up to over 200. You can see that there. Yeah, so pretty hot in that little zone. Another little boiling mud pot here. That one's just mostly hissing back there. It's interesting all the different sounds that you hear. Um, again, much like the active flows, it's kind of a, a multi-sensory experience with the, the sounds and the visuals, um, the heat as well. There's another little one right here. It's bubbling up some mud as well. And then some over here, I don't know if I have the range to shoot over there and see how hot those are. It's pretty far away. Yeah, I think it might be too far away to pick up those. But obviously, if they're boiling, we, we have an idea of how hot they are, right? Um, yeah, well over 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, probably more than that. So the Seltun geothermal area uh, in southwest Iceland.